Today, we will talk about how to attract bats to your yard. Let's have a look at the details. While bats have a bad reputation as creepy critters in popular media, bats can be incredibly helpful for maintaining a healthy garden. Not only are bats great for repelling mosquitoes and other pesky insects, but bat guano, or bat poop, is a great natural fertilizer. If you want to lure bats to your garden, consider installing a bat house near your garden and planting plenty of fragrant flowers and herbs to attract the kinds of bugs that bats love to feast on. The first step is creating a bat-friendly garden. Determine which species of bats live in your local region. Different types of bats vary in their preferences for food and water, so you'll want to get a sense of the bats in your local region before altering your garden. Do some research online or contact Bat Conservation International for more information on bat populations near you. Install a bat-friendly water source. Bats tend to be attracted to steady sources of water, so if there isn't a natural water source near your garden, consider adding a water source. Bird baths or small fountains are great options that will draw bats to your garden space. Provide a food source specific to the kinds of bats in your area. Some bats eat insects, while others eat fruit and drink nectar. Find out what kind of food the bats in your region enjoy, then plant fruit trees, flowers, or herbs that will attract those types of bats. Keep your pets indoors at night. Bats tend to be frightened off by the presence of outdoor cats or dogs. If you want to attract bat visitors, keep your furry friends inside. Once it starts getting dark in the evening, turn off outdoor lights. Because bats are nocturnal creatures, they tend to avoid roosting in areas that are illuminated by artificial light sources. And, the second step is installing a bat house. Buy or build a bat house. Bat houses will provide the right shelter for bats to roost during their nightly feasts. If you're building a bat house, be sure to use rough, non-toxic wood, such as plywood or cedar so that the bats will have an easier time climbing in and out of the box. Caulk the outside walls of your bat house. Your bat home will need to be insulated from rain and cold weather to provide a safe environment for bats. Apply a silicone caulk around the wooden seams of your bat house to ensure the space remains dry and insulated. Place your bat home in a sunny location. Bats survive best in warm environments, ideally between 80 degrees Fahrenheit and 100 degrees Fahrenheit. Find an area near your garden where your bat home will get at least 6 to 8 hours of direct sunlight. Install your bat home on a south-facing, 15-foot pole. Do not mount your bat home on a tree, as predators will have an easier time disturbing both the home and the bats. Use a dowel rod to clean your bat box. Get in the habit of cleaning debris from your bat box during the winter or early spring months, when bats aren't present. Inspect your bat home for signs of wear and tear. After you mount your bat home, you'll want to check up on it periodically to make sure it's in good condition. Thanks for watching this video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel if you like our videos.